UK Black Wolf, Cooking with the Wolf. with the wolf episode 13 on today's show I'm going to be attempting to make egg sandwich and I'm also going to be doing hot dogs see two in one today but I'm no professional chef and I always like to give things a go and give things a go I guess not sure what the end was so anyway let's move on to see how well I did Okay then, the first thing I am going to do is I'm going to crack the eggs. Now I'm using a cup before I put it in the pan. I do this, it's my own little thing, I do this to try to make sure I don't get the eggshell in the um, frying pan. Because I was, oh, I'm just terrible without doing it this way. Oh, that one went bad. No! If you do get egg showing like that one did, I did the first one perfectly. Do not fear. The first thing I will do then is grab a spoon and I saw it go in. No matter, I will find it. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my frying pan and I'm going to carefully before I've turned it on there. This is a non-stick frying pan, so I'm just going to put the egg in. And I'm looking for that shell. Because I know some went in. I'm pretty sure I did. Might be wrong. Oh, nope, there it is at the bottom of the cup. So that was that worked out quite well. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that on. Wrong one. Wrong one. It's going to be one of these. There we go. We'll do that one. So while that is now cooking over there, I am next going to be getting the sandwich ready. So right there is where I'm going to get two pieces of bread and I'm just going to put butter on them. One and two. This one, I would prefer using a butter knife, but I can't seem to find any for the life of me, so I will have to use this. So just spread the butter onto the bread, and that is next. And that one I'm going to get rid of because it is wrong that one, I would say. Fine, I don't get rid of it, like get rid of it, get rid of it. I'll go feed it to the ducks or something. So, if you find something like that, don't worry about it, just replace. Pretty sure it was bread. Anyway, just spread butter onto the bread. Once you've done that, the next thing we'll do is we'll go and check on the egg. So there is the egg over there. Currently still in the process of being cooked. I'd say that's more or less done. I would advise when doing an egg sandwich maybe to do a bit smaller um, 
one so there's not any waste. But if you do do it like this, I would not worry. As you can always adapt. So that should be about done by now. So now I'm just going to bring that over to there. And I'm going to go around to the other side because I'm right handed. Carefully tip and use the knife because I would advise using a. I'm just going to cut that there. What are those things called? I'm going to take that bit there off. Now I'm not going to waste it. come back and I'm going to slide that onto there and tip that bit over and I'm also uh, place that other bit onto the bread I'm just going to tip that bit that way pressing down and then I'm just going to cut the sandwich And then we have first, so far, part completed. The sandwich. Here is the egg sandwich. Just have a sip of tea. And then I will continue on. So next is the wolf bites for this one. So let's give this a go. It's still stuck together a bit. Okay. Here we go. Not bad. Mm-hmm. Okay then. I would say for that one, good sandwich. Still stuck together so might needed a bit better cutting. Um I think I'll give that one four wolf bites. So four wolf bites. Because that was quite a good sandwich, I would say. It came out quite well. A little bit messy, but it's an egg sandwich, so I'd say that came out quite well, all in all. So I'm going to give that one four wolf bites. Now, we're moving on to the next one in one mode. So after I've finished the sandwich and cleared up, I will be back to do the hot dogs. And for you, it would be one second, well, under a second. So I'll do the abracadabra. Okay then, well, I am back. See? Magic. Nah, not really. Um, okay then, the next thing we are now moving on to is the hot dogs. Now I've already started, you, I put a pan of water on and I'm just waiting for that to boil now. As you can see I've only literally just done it and it's not the boiling point. So while I am waiting for that, I'm going back over here. Where? I am going to grab these breads. Now these are very large um, hot dogs to be fair. I would have got smaller ones, they just didn't have them in the shop though, so I was like, oh. Nevertheless, though, that doesn't matter. What does matter is I'm going to have a sip of cup of tea.
Okay then. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a knife and I'm going to say I'm going to use the two cheese ones. I could use the plain ones over here. I didn't know what I would want so I got both. I'm going to use the cheese ones I think. I don't know if I want two. Yeah, yeah, I'll do two. No. Why not? Honestly, why not? So the next thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to grab the knife and I'm going to carefully, I'm going to hold it two sides like this and I'm just going to carefully cut down into the bread like so, making sure it has like something like that in a way to put the sausage in. Now you can do onions, you can do a variety of different things put in these hot dogs but today I'm just going to do, it's my first time I'm making these ones I'm going to do plain hot dogs. That leaves for next time for it to be even better. That, and if I completely muck this up, then it goes back to the drawing board. But again, anyway, I'm just gonna cut through this one here again. See, that's ready. And don't worry, I didn't get the little sausages. I got large sausages too. No, actually it was the sausages that I wanted smaller, but they didn't have the smaller ones, so I've just got bigger ones. doesn't really matter. So now, I'm going to go back over to the boiling point, and I'll be right back as soon as this is boiled. Okay, and I am back. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my amazing strength Ooh, to undo this. Hot dogs. It's not too well. I will be right back as soon as I've got this jar undone. Okay, and I'm back. Um, I think it's because I haven't long just washed my hands, so that's, my hands were wet. That's why I couldn't get into it. But I did get into it, so... I broke it. That's how I got into it. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, I'm now going to carefully put the sausages into this pan. Now, when doing this, I would advise be careful and do one at a time. And then I believe it you would cook them for approximately six minutes. Now if they do stick up out of the pan like that, do not worry. Just grab form of a tool like this one. Just go go in, go in, go in like that. You shall go in. And then once they're in there like that, you'll leave them for approximately I did try using a tissue to dry my hands. Whether that didn't work. Anyway. You could use approximately six minutes, so yeah. So I will be back as soon as they are done. I'm going to drink my cup of tea while I'm waiting. Six minutes, I'll drink all of that then. So I'll be right Okay then, and I am back. So I'm going to turn this down a little bit. And I'm going to take the sausages out, because I believe they are, should be around about done by now. One. There's number two. And number three. Right off now. And number four. And number five. There we have the sausages all ready and cooked. So the next thing I will be doing is I will be moving on to putting them in the, the bread or the roll. So, next thing is open the roll, grab a sausage, pick up sausage, sausage and roll. Oh, it fits perfectly. That's cool. Good to know. Then add in anything else you want. For this one I'm just going to add in some... Try to do it wiggly. 
that went terribly. Do not I catch you up? I don't know why I had to look at that one. And I will do the second one. Again, opening it up, grabbing the sausage, inserting into the bread, and you are. Again, I'll do the same thing again. Try to keep it in this time. There we go. You have successfully managed to complete the sausage. Sausage? What am I saying? Uh, sauce, uh, not sausage wrong. Oh. Hot dog! There we go. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying then. Lost it. Um, so yes. So, the next thing is wolf bites. So, we will move over to the side of it. And here goes the wolf bites. Do I have any tea left? Oh, I have no tea. Okay. So anyway, this is the biggest hot dog I've ever had. That normally has onions, but oh well. So here we go. Okay. The wolf wax time. Good hot dog. And it, you know it's coming. However, mm very large hot dog. So the first few bites were just bread and, I was like, oh. and then you had the sausage but I mean it was great and all. Sausage was done well, thing was great but I think it might have needed, I don't know, onions although I was saying that all the way through. Nevertheless onions or something else to give it that bit of a more bit to it I guess. Um, apart from that I would say it was okay. Not good because the first few bites were great, but okay. So for that one, I think I, unfortunately, it can't be four or three because I'd say the onions would make it three, maybe, maybe a bit more. However, the way it is like that, it's great and all, but it's going to have to be two wolf bites for that one. Just two. So, unfortunately, that one had two. So that comes to the end of today's show, unfortunately. But, I say but, we had a great show today, didn't we? We had the egg sandwich, which if I'm not mistaken, had four wolf bites. And we had the hot dog, which had two wolf bites. Pardon me. However, great episode. Also did a new thing with like the camera, so it had different angles, so that was quite fun. Apart from that, great show, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video as much as I did, let me know by clicking the like button, and if you want to see more videos just like this one, you never even know, maybe even better, hopefully, as I'm always improving through time, or getting worse, one of them too, hopefully improving. Um, don't forget, you can leave me a comment down below, and I will always do my best to reply to all comments. And you can give me suggestions if you know what to cook next. So you might say, you know what, UK Blackpuff, cook a cereal. I don't know. I just looked up and saw cereals. I can't cook cereals, so I don't even know where to start. However, but if you have an idea on what to cook, 
then let me know down in the comments down below and I will do my best to see what I can cook up. But I'm no professional chef, but I'm always willing to give things a go. So, thank you for watching episode 13, and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye